setting records. Cliff diving is a real test of human capability. Massive dive, oh my lord. Unstoppable, unmatchable. It is staring your fierce straight in the face. Five tens. It's a competition, it's a world series. You have to do your best dives. Yeah, buddy, that's how you do it. It's like no other sport in the world. Taking a deep breath and making that leap. That is what you call a rip entry. If you really want to win the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series, you have to have really good takeoffs. The takeoff of a dive is like the foundations of a house. If you don't have that strong takeoff, the house is going to collapse. Making sure you have a good takeoff, it almost secures a good flight and a good entry. For me, I think that's the most crucial part to have the best possible takeoff that I can. The first step in any dive is you got to find the right takeoff. Whatever it is, a bridge, a platform, a cliff, you have to find something that is comfortable for your feet to just kind of hold on to the ground. And hopefully with that, you get to do a good dive. But that's number one. It's not always easy to get to some of the places that we're diving from. The challenge, I'm sure you guys agree, that uh, it's always half of the fun and, uh, and we love the challenge to get to those places. I think one that stands out for me is definitely in Portugal in the Azores, where for the women's takeoff, where we take off, it's not exactly even. So you may spend like a couple of minutes up there just feeling around and, uh, and yeah, finding the right spot to do a, a good and steady takeoff. I think we're all here as cliff divers because we wanted to search for something new. And as soon as you, you try cliff diving and you feel that part of diving that we love, but also mixed with the outside, the nature, the real adventures, we feel like explorers sometimes uh, looking for these great, exciting places. And it's really that that we love. Standing there, you're concentrating, you, you have your thoughts and you're, you're ready to go and then all of a sudden a big gust of wind comes along and you're completely thrown off. You'll step back on the platform, but to step back there a couple of seconds later and try and do it all over again is, is really, really challenging. So, oh, that's never happened to me, fortunately. But I think I've seen it happen to you in Copenhagen, right? It's really, really off-putting. You, sometimes you may have a routine, you count to three or you breathe a certain number of times. And just before you go, then you're totally put off balance and you have to start again. And then you just start to question yourself. And that's the last thing you want to do on the end of the platform. Basically, the forward takeoff is standing forward with your toes over the edge and you're rotating forwards. Um, in a <laughs> it's, it's logic. How many times did I just say forward? <laughs> Taking up backwards, I, I like to tell people when I'm trying to teach them to do a back somersault, is to commit to go actually backwards. You know, most people try to kind of look over the shoulder and, and kind of turn around a little bit. You have to commit to go this way, but most people try to kind of look over the shoulder and try to find the water because it's, it's not natural to, to go backwards. It's actually more comfortable because once you do half of the somersault, you don't see nothing, but when you turn around and you're looking down, oh, there is the water. So that feels a little bit better. Fantastic diving. Fantastic diving by Jessica McCauley. Jumping up, great elevation, beautiful pike, confident kick out, vertical through the water. I really like it. 
I kind of find reverse is a nice dive for visuals though, because once you take off, you kind of see everything and you always have a good eye for the water. For me, reverse twist is, it kind of blows me away. I've, I've never tried that kind of takeoff and it, it seems, uh, yeah, I, I don't know how they do it. It's, uh, it looks cool to me and uh, yeah, I leave it to, to the professionals on that <laughs> one. <laughs> the challenge on a reverse takeoff is you're jumping forward but you're rotating backwards. So you feel like your head is going straight on top of the platform again. I think the handstand takeoff is quite uh, self-explanatory really. Basically you're perched on the end of the platform on your hands and you're taking off from your hands instead of your feet. High degree of difficulty, they're absolutely crushing the landing. So much power, so much control. I think they, they're quite aesthetically pleasing to see somebody do a nice handstand on the end of the platform is something really special and I really enjoy to watch this dive yeah, if it's done well. It. Yeah. yeah, and you it's a big ready, crowd pleaser. You have to be ready for the, the roar of the crowd if you're doing a handstand, they, they love it. Inward's my favorite taker. Oh. Uh, oh, <laughs> how sweet. Uh, so the inward takeoff is basically standing backwards on the platform and throwing direction towards the platform. Looks good in the air and look at that. No splash whatsoever. Nice and aggressive. Could be a little bit stronger in the takeoff. They say reverse is terrifying. That is terrifying. I don't do inward. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it's my favorite direction, though. <laughs> <laughs>